The fourth-generation Nissan Pathfinder is a spacious, comfortable seven-seat SUV with a sporty engine and a wide range of add-on features. You can choose between front or all-wheel drive. A hybrid version exists, but it is uncommon. This fourth-generation Pathfinder, also known as R52, is constructed on a platform for cars as opposed to the previous truck-based SUV. More room, better ride quality, and increased fuel efficiency were all benefits of this change. The Pathfinder has a comfortable and quiet ride, and it handles like a big car. The car is also surprisingly maneuverable for an SUV of this size. But today we are interested in four-generation Pathfinder reliability. What problems do the owners report? Let's find out. But before we start, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. Common Problems A bad wheel bearing can produce a humming sound that becomes louder or quieter when changing direction and is more audible at higher speeds. Wheel bearing replacement costs between $80 to $180 for parts and $200 to $350 for labor. Numerous complaints were made about the 2013 to 2014 Pathfinder CVT transmission. Owners report sporadic power loss and jerking, shaking, or judder, as Nissan calls it. Nissan has released a number of bulletins about the problem. The TCM could be reprogrammed, the control valve assembly could be changed, or the CVT transmission could be upgraded. On the plus side, Nissan has reportedly increased the non-hybrid CVT warranty coverage on the 2013 to 2014 Pathfinder to 7 years or 84,000 miles, whichever comes first. Additionally, we discovered numerous favorable owner testimonials that mention absolutely no CVT issues. Many owners reported problems with sun visors that wouldn't stay upright. On Amazon, the price of the driver's sun visor is listed at around $120. In addition, many owners mentioned different trim pieces breaking. Several owners of the 2013 to 2015 Pathfinder reported that the compressor in the air conditioner had failed and stopped working. It was necessary to replace the air conditioner compressor and recharge the system. While there are many aftermarket options available for between $35 and $560, the original part is quite expensive. The fan that cools the engine can get noisy and may need to be replaced. The symptom of the problem is weird noise coming from the front of the engine and is fairly loud, sounding like a card in spokes or clacking. Cooling fan assembly aftermarket parts range in price from $170 to $450. A broken or dysfunctional inner door handle is possible. The repair is fairly simple, and the part is not very expensive. The four-wheel drive Pathfinder's rear end may vibrate or judder when making slow turns on dry roads. This could be due to an issue with the rear final drive's electric controlled coupling. Follow the diagnostic instructions, and if they are successful, replace the coupling and carry out unit characteristics writing, according to the manufacturer's service bulletin. If the part is out of warranty, it is quite expensive. Engine. The Pathfinder is powered by a well-known 35 liters V6 VQ engine, which has been found in numerous Nissan and Infiniti vehicles, with the exception of hybrid models. It is a proven strong and dependable DOHC motor that, with proper maintenance, can last for well over 200,000 miles. There is no timing belt, the 3.5 liters V6 VQ engine has a maintenance-free timing chain. Replacement of a timing chain is only necessary when there is a problem, such as when it is noisy. Mechanical. The front suspension of the Pathfinder is made up of Macpherson struts, while the rear suspension is made up of multiple links. Hydraulic power assists the steering. A transverse mount is used for the engine. A continuously variable transmission, or CVT, is your only option for a transmission. Utilizing the switch on the center console, the Pathfinder four-wheel drive system can be manually switched to two-wheel drive, auto, or four-wheel drive lock modes. Overall. The Pathfinder has a reliable engine and is a comfortable family vehicle. Consumer Reports rates the reliability of the 2013 to 2015 and 2017 to 2018 Pathfinder as worse than average. We also looked up complaints on the NHTSA website. As of January 2023, the 2013 Pathfinder had 795 complaints and 11 recalls, while the 2016 Pathfinder had only 87 complaints and 3 recalls. Naturally, some of the issues have already been fixed by the warranty. Even so, it might be a good idea to look for 2015 plus models and get an extended warranty with good coverage if you plan to purchase a used Nissan Pathfinder. Make the most of the test drive when inspecting a used SUV. When accelerating, be aware of any hesitation, slipping, or shuddering. Some owners complain that the CVT engages forcefully when accelerating just a little after coasting for a while. Ask a mechanic to check for leaks from the transfer case and from the transmission cooler lines if you can arrange for a pre-purchase inspection. Asking a Nissan dealer if all recalls have been completed is a good idea. 